Thanks for staying in the CTV News. A collaborative initiative to raise public awareness about cancer is said to have yielded the, de the desired results. The St. Lucia Cancer Society, Faces of Cancer, the Oncology Center, RCI, and Pan American Insurance staged a city march urging St. Lucians to get informed about one of the lead causes of death. We need them to be aware of the lifestyle that they should be living, incorporate some exercise, good eating habits. If you were listening to the international news just a couple days ago, they were referring to processed foods, such as the processed sausages, which are very common. People eat them a lot in St. Lucia. They were referring to the processed burgers. We have to look at what we eat, what we are putting into our bodies, the intake of sugar, the intake of salt. Overall, we must take care of ourselves because Nobody else can do it better than us. We have to take care of ourselves. This is a message we are trying to put out there to the people. This illness is a burden on our government, on the societies that try to help. And we are asking people to help us, help keep a nation healthy, because a lot of young people are dying from cancer. We cannot have our young people dying. What is happening to our country when we don't, when our human resources, the human resources that are so vital to the development of our country, that they are just gone? What is going to happen to our development? So we are asking people to look at how you eat, look at your lifestyle, um, look at the number of hours you sleep. It's just simple things. Just simple, simple things. So many people see it as a death sentence. From the time you hear somebody have cancer, you automatically write them up as being dead. But um, through knowledge, we've learned that that's not the case. And so we want to continue to encourage persons, early detections, uh, and, and, and let them know that it's not an automatic death sentence. I think I have a responsibility to continue to spread that word. Because now with my understanding of it, because I was at like that at one point in time where I thought, once I hear cancer, it was a death sentence. I remember my grandmother died of cancer. My aunt is now a cancer patient. My nephew, who is only 15 years old, is, he now has cancer. So it is definitely something I've had to deal with within my family. Um, and I remember when my grandmother died from cancer, one day I was lying and I felt a, a lump in, in, in my breast. And boy, for the life of me, I almost passed out. Because that's what I thought. I thought it was a death sentence. If you feel, a, once you feel a lump, then it's cancer. And then once you have cancer, then you're dead. 